For more on this, we're joined by Brigadier General Mark Kimmett. He's also former Assistant Secretary of State for Political and Military Affairs. Brigadier General, thank you so much for coming in. So sure. first of all, let's just talk about Operation Euphrates Shield. Now, we've got an interesting situation there. We've got all these different actors. And essentially what we have at one point is the United States fighting against different groups that they're supporting. How is that a viable situation with their support of the YPG and their support of the FSA? Well, Vice President Biden last week said something very clear. He was supportive of the YPG pulling back behind the Euphrates, to the east of the Euphrates. Uh, those elements that are still on the west of the Euphrates that are in contact now with FSA and with Turkish forces are not supposed to be there. They're not legitimately there. So the United States is finding itself in a very difficult position between supporting a key NATO ally of Turkey and supporting the YPG as well. And what pressure can be put on those forces that you say are still in the wrong position for them to actually withdraw? Well, if the Kurds think that they're going to maintain the United States support, uh, which they must do, they're going to have to abide to some degree by what the United States is asking. That's a legitimate requirement, a legitimate request, and they need to uphold it. Is there a suggestion that the United States could withdraw its support entirely from the group? Uh, if it goes to the point where they're completely acting in a manner that's uh, against our interests, which is to fight Daesh, to defeat Daesh inside of Syria. And now Operation Euphrates Shield, of course, is to clear that border area, not only of the YPG, but also of Daesh. Uh, do you think that that's uh, going to be a long-term operation carried out by Turkey and its FSA uh, supporters? Well, I think you need to ask the Turkish military about that, but let's be clear. Turkey has legitimate security interests on their border. Uh, they also do not want to see the, uh, the Kurds in that area set up a separate state. So I believe that the Turks will have to make that decision themselves, and if it's necessary, they can and should maintain that uh, operation as long as it's necessary. The tension that's been brought about between the United States and, and Turkey here, yeah. I mean, the important thing, as we've discussed, is to make sure that the NATO allies stay tight right. on this situation. Is that going to continue? Well, I certainly hope so. I think the U.S. policy right now is, as we say, they're trying to be too clever by half. They're trying to support the YPG, obviously a terrorist organization working against Turkey, but they're also trying to maintain a strong relationship with a key NATO ally and, frankly, a friend. Uh, but you've got to at some time you just have to pick sides and at this point I think that the president should and probably will pick the side of Turkey. Okay and let's just take it a bit wider and talk about picking sides now of course we have so many actors taking yeah. part in in Syria. Um, there has been some discussion, some talk about a possible alliance, some kind of deal being done between the United States and Russia to make sure that Daesh mm -hmm. is defeated. I mean, how viable do you think that could be going forward? Well, given the state of relations between the United States and Russia and the significant number of differences we have in places such as Ukraine and the long-standing support of the Russian for the Assad regime, I, I see it highly unlikely. But will that support stay in place? We've seen a slight softening of, 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 the, uh, of the Russian line towards Assad income in, in, in recent weeks. Do you think that support is going to stay as, as strong as it was maybe six months ago? Well, I, I certainly hope that the Russians are now re-looking at their strategy inside of Syria and what it has brought. Before the Russians came in, Assad was on the brink of capitulating. He was on the brink of negotiating. The moment the Russians came in, he stiffened and he continued the fighting. The direct support of the Russians has caused thousands and thousands of deaths, and I hope that the Russians now realize that diplomacy to relook their strategy is the right way to go. Okay, Brigadier General, Mark Kim, unfortunately we have to leave it there, but thank you so much for coming in.